Mr. President, uh, I come to the floor this afternoon because we have heard a lot here today about Tracy Stone Manning, her nomination to head the Bureau of Land Management, and how completely disqualified she is for that post. As you've heard, it's a critically important agency, especially for those of us in Western states. It manages almost one-eighth of the entire land mass of the United States. Uh, in my home state of Wyoming, the Bureau of Land Management oversees 18 million acres. Uh, she came through the Energy Committee, and as I told my friend and colleague Joe Manchin, that's more territory than the entire state of his home state of West Virginia, and in your case, Mr. President, uh, more than the size of your state uh, by a lot. It's not just my state. This agency oversees 12 different — or 12 million acres of public land in Arizona, 48 million in, uh, uh, acres of land in Nevada, 8 million in Montana. Uh, it's like that all across the West. Included in the land that it manages is almost 65 million acres of federal forests. The Bureau is also responsible for hundreds of millions of acres of mineral land below the surface. It's critical to America's energy independence, because a lot of energy is under those lands. Tr Tracy Stone Manning has no business leading this agency, none whatsoever. She helped plant a tree spiking in one of our country's national forests. She sent a threatening letter to the United States Forest Service about it. She did not cooperate with federal investigators, blocked the investigation, only testified when she received immunity, and lied to our committee about it. There's bipartisan concern about this nomination. I will tell you, Bob Abbey, who was President Obama's director of the Bureau of Land Management, said that her actions should disqualify her. President Obama's nominee to run that bureau. Because Bob Abbey understands the job and he knows her involvement with tree spiking should eliminate her from any consideration. So Steve Ellis, who was the deputy director of the Bureau of Land Management during the Obama administration, and he was the highest-ranking career official at the agency, he raised concerns about Stone Manning as well. This is what he said. He said, much of the focus seems to be on whether this is a Democrat or Republican thing. But he said, the lens that I look at this through is as a 38-year career person in both agencies, and that letter she wrote went to my forest colleagues or the Forest Service colleagues on the Clearwater. Makes a very important point. How can the men and women of the Bureau of Land Management, people who devoted their lives to work for this agency, how can they respect President Biden's nominee, Tracy Stone Manning, when they know she threatened their colleagues at the U.S. Forest Service? Conservation organizations have begun to pull their support as well. The Dallas Safari Club and the Houston Safari Club, which each represent thousands of outdoorsmen and women, have both now reversed their support and now publicly oppose her nomination now that they've learned this additional information. Radical ideas are nothing new for Tracy Stone Manning. Around the time of the criminal tree spiking, she wrote her graduate thesis. In her thesis, she argued that Americans need to have fewer children because children are a threat to the environment. Even making, she even made ads to promote these ideas. These are ideas you hear in communist China, not from a nominee to be the director of the Bureau of Land Management. Now, some Democrats have defended Tracy Stone Manning by saying this tree spiking was decades ago. Her radical views have not changed, I will assure you, Mr. President, because right now, many states in the West are burning from raging, dangerous wildfires. Management of these fires has become a constant conservation or conversation at the Energy and Natural Resources Committee and on the Senate floor, and we actually discussed it this morning in the Energy and Natural Resources Committee. Tracy Stone Manning has current views on this one as well. Her husband, Richard Manning, wrote in Harper's that firefighters should let homes built in forests burn. He wrote, that's a rude and satisfying justice, satisfying justice in burning down a house of someone who builds in the forest. Now, Tracy Stone Manning is not responsible for the views of her husband. But last September, as wildfires burned last year and we had hearings on those, she actually endorsed her husband's views on letting it burn and letting the houses burn. In a tweet, she called her husband's comments a clarion call. It wasn't 30 years ago. It was about 10 months ago. 
Tracy Stone Manning endorsed her husband's call to action that homes in the forest should be allowed to burn. There are currently wildfires burning in Alaska, Arizona, Colorado, California, Idaho, Montana, Oregon, South Dakota, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. All of these states have BLM lands. This year's largest fire, the Bootleg Fire, has burned over 400,000 acres, seven homes, and more than 40 other buildings. Thousands of homes are still threatened. This year, around 2 million acres have burned so far in the western states. Last year alone, wildfires burned and damaged over 17,000 structures. And what do they call it? What does her husband call it and what does she tweet about? Satisfying justice in burning down the House. How can Senate Democrats vote to confirm a nominee who has advocated to let the homes of their own constituents burn? These views are disturbing and dangerous. President Biden has made, made the threat of domestic terrorism a focus of his administration. His own National Security Council recently released a strategy to address domestic terrorism, and it specifically includes the threat of domestic environmental terrorists. But he has nominated someone who admitted to conspiring with terrorists. Every senator needs to consider carefully if they want their name associated with Tracy Stone Manning. All 10 Republicans on the Energy and Natural Resource Committee have asked President Biden to withdraw the nomination. We all voted against her nomination last week during a committee business meeting. She conspired with eco-terrorists. She lied to the Senate. She still holds radically reprehensible views. Tracy Stone Manning should never be the director of the Bureau of Land Management. The Senate must reject her nomination. I strongly oppose her nomination and each and urge each and every member to do the same. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.